Greetings to everyone. My name is Gabriela Villamonte and I'll be presenting this poster. It's part of my undergraduate thesis. This poster is called Flashback Through Autonomous Reef Monitoring Structures, a study of mollusk assemblages in Cisal Reef, Mexico. Let's start with the background. The marine mollusk communities are always changing due to a variety of factors, like overfishing, predators, or resources availability. These changes are in need to be assessed to acknowledge the status of the reef, specifically seasonal reef from the southern Gulf of Mexico, and their behavior through time. Also, the taxonomical identification is key to get a better understanding of the reef. Here we can see our study area. This reef is located on the north coast of the Yucatan Peninsula in the Bank of Campeche. This place is 706 meters deep approximately. So, the next part is materials and methods. We had 16 structures deployed by scuba divers. Also, we withdrew four of them, an original and three replicas every three months, which indicates us that our months of withdrawn were January, April, July, and October. It's important to point the fact that for this study, we narrowed the samples to living and mobile specimens only. We used identification guides and analyzed the data with the software Primer 7. As results, we worked 275 specimens and identified 46 species, 29 families, 7 orders, and 3 classes. Our most abundant species were the bivalve, musculus lateralis, and the gastropod rizoela et valeri, and the primary feeding habit was carnivory. The analysis revealed considerable differences in our data. First, we have the non-metrical multidimensional scaling, using months as factors. It displayed a great distance between the months, so we can infer a high variation in the community composition. This result was supported by the shade plot. As we can observe, numbers 1 to 13 are our structures, and in the column we have the species. Initially, we can observe a great abundance, but a few species. As the months passed, the abundance decreased, but the species reaches ground. The abundance varies significantly, so species reaches those two. So, we can, what we can conclude based on this analysis? We saw a clear ecological succession and evidence replacement of species in the community composition. Statistically, our autonomous reef monitoring structures were different in both species and abundance. With the result of our study, we consider it necessary to continue studying, studying this environment to understand how the community behaves in a less greater than one year. Thanks to all crew members and the project that funded this work.